he went to a mental asylum. Do we truly want someone like that to be considered a founder of Canada? I don't think so. Thank you. Muriel is a, most certainly not a traitor. Yes, he did kill Thomas Scott. And uh, yes, but he did swear his allegiance to the Queen. And he was fully with Canada. He was fighting for the rights of the Métis people. And Thomas Scott was murdered for treason and threatening to kill Luriel and other people. He was also continuously throwing insults at everybody in the jail room. And so they killed him for treason. And Canada did not own the land yet when Luriel stopped them from building the railway through there. They had not paid anything. They did not own the land yet. And he stopped them from taking over the Métis people's farms <coughs> and destroying their rights. Thank you. Muriel is not here. Yes, he did stand for his people, but he also he fled into the United States when the government tried to come after him. He ran away. What kind of leader and hero runs away? What kind of hero murders someone? What kind of hero opposes the government and leads rebellions against Do we want Luriel to be called a hero? A murderer? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Our opponents have erroneously tried to convince you that Louis Real was a hero. They should be a father of this nation. We have demonstrated what kind of a man Louis Riel truly was. The idea that someone like Riel could be a hero is preposterous. Some good did come from him, yes, but this same man ordered people killed in cold blood. He was committed to a mental asylum. Do we truly want this misguided zealot to be considered a father of Canada? After all the facts have been presented and examined, there's but one clear conclusion here. Louis Riel was a madman, and Louis Riel was a traitor. Thank you. So, big we have the judge.